part a asks to use the substitution u equals x to the power of one half to find this integral. We will write u equals x one half. We can also rewrite this as square root of x. We can take the square of both sides and basically isolate x. So when we take the derivative of this, we get 2u du equals dx. Now we can use the substitution to substitute dx to just have it in terms of u. We can also rewrite the actual integral in terms of square roots to make it easier to process. For example, the denominator can be rewritten as square root of x cubed plus square root of x. We're now able to see that we can easily substitute a square root of x with u. So the denominator will become u cubed plus u. We can also replace the dx straight away to make it 2u du. We're able to factor out a u in the denominator and cancel this out with the u in the numerator. We can rewrite this in the form 1 over u squared plus 1 squared. This actually resembles a standard integral found in the formula booklet. This would be 1 over a arctan x over a plus c. Of course our variable is u and a is 1 in this case. As our answer needs to be in terms of x, we will replace u with square root of x. Part b asks to find the value of this definite integral and express it in the form arctan q. Of course, this integral is very similar to what we found in part a. So we can simply use this and just substitute the upper and lower boundaries and then subtract the two values. The question asks us to represent the answer in terms of one arctan. So we need to somehow combine these two arctans into one. We can do this by taking the tangent of this value and we can use a compound angle identity from the formula booklet. We know that tangent of the sum of two values is can be rewritten using this formula. Our a and b is arctan 3 and arctan 1 respectively and we will use the minus in the formula. This means we can rewrite this as tan arctan 3 minus tan arctan 1 over 1 plus tan arctan 3 times tan arctan 1. This is convenient because the tans and arctans cancel each other out, so we're left with a numerical value of 1 half. I will remind us that arctan 3 minus arctan 1 is the actual answer of the integral, and we took the tan of this. This means that we have to take the arctan in order to return the real value of the integral. So the final answer to part b is arctan of 1 half. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I hope it helped you with this question. Please like and subscribe. Bye.